Hey everyone, thanks again for joining us. I'm Andrew Hennezak with AAP Automation Applications Engineer. And we're gonna do another ACS 380 demo, setting up analog startup. And we've done two videos in the past, so we're assuming that you've already entered your motor data and we've done the ID run. So the motor has been spinning, you can control it from the control panel. And now we would just wanna add on an analog input. So if you want it to be removed or in a different area by the machine, you can have an analog input signal to control the speed. So to do that, we're gonna go through about 15 parameters. And we're gonna start over in 12 with our analog input selection. So it's volts and the filter time. The filter time is a time constant that's used to smooth out the signal and control the speed. So it's defaulted to 0.1 seconds and we're gonna keep it there. It's very rare that we ever change this. Um, our analog minimum is zero volts. Our maximum is gonna be 10 volts and we wanna scale that to the speed of our motor. So in this case, it's zero for zero volts and 10 volts will give us 1,640 RPM. Then we go down to our external commands. You can program multiple external commands. Since we're just doing a single analog input this time, we're only gonna use the first one. So we're gonna use one to start and two to change the direction of the motor. And we assign those to digital input one and digital input two. Then we're gonna come over to our stop mode and we're just gonna use the ramp. You can use a coast. And then speed reference is our analog input one on the demo here. Our excel time is 10 seconds and our decel time is five. Again, those can be adjusted to fit your application. So let's go through and test what we've set up. We put DI1 to be our start command and stop. DI2 will change the direction of the motor. And we're getting our speed reference from our analog signal from zero to 10 volts. So we'll put it in the middle. We'll make sure we're operating in remote mode. And we'll start the motor. You can hear it start spinning up the speed. We increase the analog input. Speed goes higher. We bring it down. It goes low go back to the middle. We can switch directions. So you go down to zero and then speed back up in the opposite direction. So we'll go back to forward. And we'll notice that if we go all the way up to our 10 volt signal, we're stopping at about 1480, 1500 RPM. Even though we set up our AI1 max scale to be 1640 RPM, we're still getting stopped or limited at 1500. Why is that? This is a common issue that we see pretty often and I've even been guilty of it myself, but you get caught up in writing in all your parameters. And for us, we were looking at analog startup. So all your parameters are for AI this, AI that. And you kind of forget that there are other parameters that can be overriding. In this case, that's our limits. So even though we told it, hey, we wanna go 1640 when we reach 10 volts, the limits will always be overseeing what the drive is doing and restrict anything that you put in place. So in that case, we needed to change our maximum to be the 1640, which is typically not the default. And then you'll be able to use the full analog signal to go up to 1640 or back down to zero. Now that we have adjusted our limit parameters, to match the 1640 on the speed of the motor, we can test to make sure we get the full range. So if we turn it on starting in the middle, and then crank it all the way up, you see it go up to 1600 RPM. And bring it back down. And that's analog startup. Thanks for joining. Let us know if you have any questions.